hello it is future me just to say that hey this is part two if you accidentally clicked on this one on accident you should go watch the first video in this little series thing because uh it's only gonna be two videos because i'm not crazy but it will the first part will be linked in the description um it'll be the top line and um i want this to be helpful and i really hope it is um but i do suggest watching this whole thing before you start doing anything just because I feel like it will prevent any issues and stuff and I can you know have the little after amble I don't I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but like yeah so yes this is part two so if it's you know the first video you're watching of me maybe you should go see this the first one I, I don't know I don't know but yeah uh, I'm just rambling right now because I don't really know what to say but yeah so uh, enjoy the video <laughs> Hello. So I know I look like I got hit by a bus, but I just kind of went out for dinner with my mom and I put on makeup and then rubbed most of it off because I didn't actually set any of it. So yeah, but I figured out basically how um, I do my Subo laying of the hair and stuff. So I'm going to be holding it. I'm not going to be popping my phone up because it's just easier. And I'm really sorry if the audio is weird. My phone's kind of been weird lately. Um, okay, so, first off, I'm gonna show you what I've got. So, this is one half, this is the unfinished half. I would do a time lapse of me finishing it, but honestly, it's so late at night, and I'm so tired, and I just want to get it done so I can do a test. Um, so clearly, it's still, like, not amazing, but it's not horrible. And we're, that's, that's what we're going for at this point. So... Some tips and tricks that I found useful. So now that we have that first row that's round it, honestly, I feel like now looking back, you wouldn't have to necessarily do that first layer. Oops, sorry. If you were like going to do two layers of hair, because you're going to need two layers of hair if you don't want to see the foam. You can see it there because the, I haven't gotten to doing it there quite yet. You know, you can see it along the edges but where I put the hair you can't see the black it's just green now um, I did ha I am running into the problem that the sh hot glue is very shiny when you look at this it's it's shiny and although wig hair is shiny it's not quite like this you know it's a different type of shiny it's not a wig hair shiny it's like a covered in glue shiny so um, once I finish I'm going to mess around a little bit with some hairspray Ooh. hairspray and with um, either setting powder or cornstarch or any like clear powder like just to set it and I will get back to you on that but for now this is what we've got basically the main thing of what you're going to do is you're going to want to just lay down a weft and then so first yes you're going to need to take out a lot of wefts of hair and if you have a whole separate wig, then you should have enough unless you're deciding to make a giant bow for some reason. But if you're not doing anything that's like too humongous, you should be fine because with this, I've still got like half of the wig left and I will have more than enough hair. Um, so basically, what the trick is to not, um, to not glue it where the net not netting but like where it's sewed together so you want to like glue it over here, like over here or over here even just enough so that you can get an exacto knife and you can like cut away that and then glue it down later so it blends in so like if we go onto this side you don't see any of that sewing parts so um it's not as necessary for when we first do that wrapping part because no one's going to see that since it will be covered. Um, but, yeah. And I'm also using an X-Acto blade to get the wefts to a size that I need. I'm not just get, taking full wefts. Um, for example, I will be cutting this off because I overestimated. But, of course, the insides will always be thinner than the outsides. Like, the flat sides. Like, <laughs> this will be always wider than the needing for this. So, sometimes, you may think it's easier. You may feel that it's easier to... Sorry, this is like such a rocky tutorial. Um, just kind of like make it so this goes connects underneath. But for this, I'm not going to be doing that, I feel. I'm not sure actually 
but if you do cut off too much or you have too little, you can either always add on and cut off a little bit. Um, just make sure that you separate as much as you can the two, like, wefts. Hold up. I don't mean two wefts, but I mean, like, so you see how the hair here, it's, like, in little bundles. So I have this separated as much as I can with these two bundles. Oh, my phone's not focusing. But it's separated as much as it possibly can be. I'm trying to, like... Okay, so you see how there it's separated as much as it can be? It doesn't look like it actually right now because it's like half of it's glued and half it's not. It's, it's still, you know, not finished. But you get the point. Separate them as much as possible and you're still going to get the, a couple loose hairs that are going to fall out. But it will be better than just kind of wildly cutting. Because wildly cutting will lead to a lot of stray hairs and then you'll wake up with your feet tangled in green hair. I'm learning from experience here. Please don't do that. It's really weird. Um, but yeah, also, when you're laying down here, um, since we do have that layer on the bottom, if you just run the hot part, like the metal, the tip of your hot glue gun on it, sometimes the hair will do, like, will just melt into that pre-existing glue. And that pre-existing glue will hold it down, and then you won't have to use, you know, actual hot glue. Um... I will say that this does use a lot of hot glue, so buy an extra pack just in case if you run out of whatever you already have, because it might happen. Um, the pack I had, I this is brand new, I used what I had left over, which was maybe only like three, four, maybe at maximum sticks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight out of sixteen, sixteen. So I've already used half of this just for this plus additional like five or so maximum so like i've already used at least 11 hot glue sticks and these are pretty long you know they're bigger than my head um or wait did i already pull one out okay so actually probably only 10 because i, I actually haven't used one i just pulled it out to put it in my hot glue one. so um yeah so i will be back soon i'm going to finish gluing them down i know this is really lazy of me and it's very not it's, it's so unhelpful for me to not actually do a time lapse or show you guys how i'm doing this but i'm just so tired that at this point i just can't i can't care enough and i'm sorry but if you are doing this and you do need help feel free to message me on my instagram i will reply very quickly and i can help you as much as i can so Yes, and if I do film any clips of me doing this, I will insert them now. But otherwise, see you when I'm done with the gluing of the remaining layers. So, um, I know I'm wearing something different and it's really dark in here, but I'm not turning on a light and I'm not going to speak really loud because it's like 6 in the morning. I ended up not sleeping, um, but she's done, ouch. And, um... So what I'm doing now is I'm taking my hot glue gun that's on, it's hot, it's smoky, and I'm basically just kind of smoothing out any um, hairs that are like coming off the edges because you are gonna, like you're not gonna be able to glue every single piece of hair down because there's just a lot of strands of hair that you're gonna have on this thing. So um, yeah, um, basically I'm just finding any like, you may not be able, you can't see it because it's dark, but um, you'll find that it like frays off a little bit. So I'm either gluing those down or just, mm. if you move the hot um, metal part of your glue gun along the hairs, it will um, kind of reheat the glue that's underneath it and then it will stick. But if there's no glue that's accessible underneath it, then you just squish, squish, and then you're good to go. So yeah, I'm doing that to clean up the edges. So like right now the inside of this loop is all clean, there's no frizzy bits, um, and yeah, so I'm gonna do that for the other side, and I will be back when I do that for the next step, although it'll probably be later in today. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a hair dryer, and I'm going to, so since the light's on, you can see close up, there's all that glue that you can see that doesn't blend in with the hair quite. Right. I take a hair dryer or since I'm a mess if I can't find that my heat gun and I'm just gonna lightly go over it just to melt the glue together so it's just one solid shape 
I already kind of heavily glued the insides and the outsides just because I wanted that to be, that would be hard to get to look somewhat uniform with the hair dryer only. So, um, whereas like the f big flat parts, it's, I feel like it'd be a lot easier. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I'm not going to do a time lapse of that either because my bathroom is a mess. Um, but you, I'm basically just remelting the glue with a hair dryer. It's not that complicated and, um, just make sure you don't melt your anything. If you smell smoke, that's a sign that it's time to stop. And, um... Yeah, I'll come back with results. Uh, if this doesn't work, then you can just ignore this step because in real reality, you could probably get away with not doing that. I'm just a perfectionist that doesn't want to see the glue. But if you don't mind seeing glue, then like, you're good, you're good, you're good. Okay, so actually, I would definitely recommend doing the hair dryer because look at that, it's all sealed together. You don't see any of that frizzy frizz and it's really nice. But I do warn you to be careful about um, melting the wig hair. Uh, I used my heat gun because I don't know where my hair dryer went. <laughs> I don't really do much hair stuff for day to day life. Um, but uh, yeah, so I was using my heat gun and I found that it really burned up the hair really quickly. So I would suggest to be conscious of that if you are using a heat gun or a hair dryer because you know, Depending if we get the same, if you get the same wig as me, or if you have another one that you prefer otherwise, um, you know the temperature that your wigs will be able to handle will be different based on all of those individual factors. So if your wig can handle, you know, a heat gun level heat, then go ham. But if it's you know an Amazon, eBay wig. Um, I would really suggest you take it slow. Don't go on that high setting at first. I really burned up a little section of my uh, bow, but it's in like an area where you won't see, so it's okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna seal everything with a layer of got to be. This will also kind of act as a possible matting thing because it's still super shiny and you can still kind of see the glue. You can see it less than before, but you can still see it. So hopefully this will mat in it everything up a little bit so it looks a little cleaner and I will get back to you once I do that. So the hairspray has been added. Um, it's actually already a lot less shiny. Let's go into the more aggressive lighting. Um, okay, so it's still shiny, um, but it's still less than it was before. So that's an improvement. Um, I'm gonna let this hairspray dry because it's super sticky since it's got to be. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna let it dry since I did both sides at once because I'm an idiot, but uh, yeah, I'll get back to you. Um, next up is figuring out how to attach the bow to the wig. I want mine to be removable, so I, if I want to, I can use this wig for a, another character, but I can't, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. But of course, when I figure out what I'm gonna do, I will let you know. Okay, so since I'm learning as I go, um, two layers is enough, so it's not a too much of a terrible color difference because, um, if you're using white foam, then you don't have this, you won't have this issue. But if you are dealing with black foam, you are going to have the issue of um, there being a slight color difference between this wig and the hell bow. So, I would definitely recommend either priming it with white or green paint beforehand, even if it's just a thin layer that barely does anything, because I feel like that would seriously improve the color cons continue. English, but it would keep the colors more constant. Um, it's not too terrible if you don't and you have black foam. Uh, so like, if you don't have like the budget to add in some paint like that, don't worry about it because you'll be fine. Especially if you have, and if you're being really picky, you will still have about like, you'll have a ton of hair. So you'll be able to like cover this bow like four times if you really need to or if you really, really feel like you need it to be exactly the same. So, um, yeah, but I've decided that I'm going to log in every single time I, like, the different methods I'm trying to get my bow to stay on, just because maybe I'll like one way and you'll like another, and, you know, I like it to be the full, full thing. So, that's what we're doing here. Right now, I'm just gonna test to see if I could theoretically just hot glue a rand on and just use it like a hair tie. 
although I'm pretty sure this one's not good. That's not gonna work because this is way too heavy for that. But we're gonna try anyways. I can always just, you know, use a blow dryer or my heat gun to just wedge off the hair tie. So that's what I'm trying. Um, I'm basically just hot gluing it on. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Just a hair tie and hot glue is for this method. Um, yep. <laughs> it's actually good. Oh my god. Oh, I tied it upside down. I tied it upside down. But, other than that, it's actually pretty good. She's, she's pretty good. She's pretty good. If, she, I, if I just flip this, it'd be good. See? Yeah. Oh my god. I might actually do this. Um, so I don't actually need to have more than one method because this is good. It's cheap. It's easy. I have the materials already. I just have to tie it correctly. Okay, so let me tie it correctly. I'll be right back and then I'll show you how it looks like when it's tied correctly. Okay, so a thing I'm also finding is that the rubber band itself likes to separate, which is fine. You just have to be conscious of that. Um, now, if you can't tell that there's an error here, that is because this is too heavy for the weight that it is holding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrounge around my room and find a couple... I'm going to try and find those alligator clips, uh, if I have any. Um, if I don't, I'm probably just going to return with some stupid clip of some sort. Um, I'd also think that if you have a scrunchie and you want to buy a green one, that would probably work a lot better because you'd also have more surface area to attach it to your bow. Of course, depending on how thick your bow is, you may not even need it because it, just this skinny ass rubber band is doing pretty good. Um, you could also probably double up the rubber bands, but I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like I just carry extra rubber bands with me and my hot glue gun at a con anyways, so like I'd just rather like redo it if it falls off. So yeah, I'm gonna go find some clips and I'll be back. Here's another, here's another good thing to probably know is that if you make it too wide to fit through a door and you forget that you're going through a door, you're gonna have problems. You're gonna have problems and you're gonna have to re-put it back on. So keep that in mind um, because I just did that and it just, it's on the floor now. So what I've done is I found this clip that, you know, you have to press it to take it off as like an upper securing piece. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's the clip I have um, and I just hot glued it on. Uh, I don't know if it's any good or not, but we're gonna try it. I will see you momentarily. We are back in my bathroom, and you know what that means. It's test time. So, I put on the clip, and I put on the hair tie. Um, and this is what it looks like from the front. So. And I think I'm actually going to go with this, because I feel like it is the easiest. It is not permanent, for sure. And even if you feel like it is permanent, you just unclip the clip and you can even cut the, off the hair tie if you really need to. Um, and it's uh, cheap and I just found these clips in my house. Everybody has regular hair ties, you know, and even if you don't, they're like a dollar. And clips like that, they're like three dollars max. But even though I just found that in a random box. And it's just, although it does bend, I feel like that's just my own issue with the alignment of mine. And the clip but I do have a problem with it not being able to hold all of the hair so if I do say one one thing one or two things to improve I definitely say get a clip that will hold the whole entire wig's worth of hair instead of just half of it like this one so you can't see the metal part because oh, you can't see it because it's covering um, but there you can't see that other metal part because there's just the hair saw in it it's only in the in the hair tie and I think that's why it's slouching that's why it's slouching. So if, um, yeah, that's the one thing I think that could definitely be done better and fixed on my part without the error of that, I'm assuming. So, like, don't take my word for it and, like, expect it to be perfect, but it would make sense logically that it would work like that. Um, but otherwise, even if, you know, if you don't mind that little bit of a tilt, then you're fine, especially when you're doing like that all the time. No one's gonna know, no one's, no one's gonna know. So um, yeah, this I guess 
it doesn't conclude the tutorial, but it concludes the more important parts. So basically, all that's left is to take, whip this around, take hair, and then coat it to go up. Um, so it looks like it's an actual bow, and now then you're done. So, I'll see you when I do that in like half an hour. I just walked through a doorway and I didn't turn. The hair clip is magical. It kept it on the wig. That is what we want. Oh, I'm sorry. I just covered my... But yeah, that's what we want and it did that. So yes, if you're doing the hair tie and you're not doing like a thicker scrunchie, you might have to experiment with your combination of hair clips and hair ties. But that is a very good thing that I would recommend is having one hair tie and one clip. Just make sure your clip holds the whole wig instead of just part of it. So, yay. So, I know I look like an editor. I haven't taken off my wig caps. But, um, I'm done, basically. Um, to be fair, I don't think it's amazing. Ugh, that hawk was still very hot. <laughs> um, but to be fair, I don't think I did amazing, but I don't think it did terrible either. It could have been worse. Um, I'm just too lazy and tired. I'll probably go back in later, but basically I did one around it to kind of cover up the crossing because that was really kind of distracting. Um, and I think it'd be best if you, um, because you can see what a mess it is back here. I think it would be best if you, um, did the hair tie first and then you did the crossover, um, with the center covering of the hair and then you added the clip, um, because if you do it before, it's very difficult to add all of the hair. So, yeah, uh, but that's about it. I will see you momentarily for our final show off of my frabby wig. Um, and uh, hopefully this helped you guys out. Um, even if you don't follow my, you know, what I did t step by step, I think there were some good ideas in there because I didn't really like how it looked like when people just went around in circles um, and I know I kind of slacked off towards the end but I do hope this was helpful even if it was just a little bit um, but yeah I'll see you momentarily with just a little closet cosplay frappy it's raining now it's perfect frog weather so I'm gonna go out and we're gonna get some little clips and stuff so yeah <laughs>
start working on it soon. The con that I'm trying to bring her to is in October. So I still have time, but I want to start the sewing soon just because I want to like figure out my embroidery situation, which if there's a vlog for that cosplay, I'll fill you in then. I'm not going to get into it now. Um, but yeah, so if you want that, leave a comment. Um, yeah, if you want another video, check out over there or maybe over there. And if you want to subscribe to me for some reason or you want to see more content, uh, check right there. Um, I have a lot of ideas and I would love to share more with you guys. Um, yeah, uh, social medias will be linked in the description if you want to get in touch with me at any time. And I know it was really bad of me not to do time lapses of every, every step I am going through. So um, if you do try to follow this step by step, um, feel free to de and you run into trouble somewhere where I left out a detail that was kind of important, just DM me on Instagram or even Musical.ly, although I don't really, Musical.ly DMs are always broken for me, but like DM me on Instagram and I will get back to you. I will be linking the wigs that I used um, in the description and I used about one, one whole package of hot glue, about a little more, um, so it's about 16, 17, 18, like about 20 glue sticks and um, just some foam that was about maybe an inch thick, max, maximum inch thick. Maybe it's like three fourths. I, I don't, I don't know measurements, whatever. Uh, just not super thin and not super thick, basically. Um, but you know, that can be up to your preference, um, how much hair to foam ratio you want and all of that jazz. And that's up to you because it's cosplay and that's what we get to do. We get to make our own things. So yeah, I think that's it for this video. Make sure you check out those two videos if you want. I can do more wig things. I have a couple cosplays that I am doing some wig stuff with, so let me know. Like, you, no one ever comments on my videos, but like, let me know because I do have a couple uh, wig things that are coming up. And although they may take a little while to get up because it'll take a while for me to figure out what I'm doing. Uh, but if you guys are looking forward to like, trying to figure out how to do animal ears in a cosplay wig or um, soon. So yeah, if that's something you guys are interested in, I can also record how I made that or how I'm going to make that. I haven't done it yet. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm rambling and thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate you even sitting this far through the video and I really hope it helped you. And if it didn't, sorry. If it did, I'm so happy. See you guys next week, um, hopefully. I'm, I'm trying, I'm really trying to keep on my YouTube schedule. Um, yeah, so see you guys next time. Love you lots. Hope you have a lovely day. Uh, subscribe, hit like, I don't know. Follow your dreams, that's, that's what I'm gonna leave you with. Follow your dreams, bye.